G'day plant friends and welcome back to Scott Grows and Avocado Tree for another episode of Growing Vegetables on a Budget. Last time, which is about two weeks ago in actual time, I planted my broccoli seeds and today we are going to check in on them and also thin them out. Let's get to it. We are growing vegetables on a budget. So yes, two weeks ago I planted these seeds in these containers and got them started. Within a few days of planting them, they started to pop their heads up and over the course of a couple of weeks, they have grown a few centimetres tall. Now that they are a few centimetres tall and I'm seeing multiple seeds in the same containers, as was what we expected when we planted multiple seeds in the same containers, we now need to ensure the best chance of a good crop. And but for do, to do that, we need to thin these out and when I say thin out I just mean to get rid of these smaller weaker plants leaving only the biggest and strongest ones so I'm just going to be leaving one large seedling in each container the reason why I do that is to allow that to really fill the container and not have to compete with anything for nutrients or water or sunlight or space you might be thinking, why did you plant multiple seeds in the same container if you're going to pull some of them out? Well, the reason why I did that is because seeds are actually very, very cheap. You know, each of the pack of these was a dollar for two dollars of postage. Even then, very cheap, and I've still got a lot left. And it's to ensure our success. If I only went with one seed in each pot, there is a good chance that I wouldn't get plants in some of these containers and I want to maximize my chance for success and by the time that I realize you know two weeks later that there's some that are not growing then I then I'm really setting myself back so that's why I planted multiple seeds in the same container and now I'm going to thin them out and really it is very simple to thin things out I'm just pulling out the smallest ones leaving the strongest ones left the reason why I'm pulling these out now, still fairly early, is because they haven't developed their root systems yet, and so pulling the seedlings out aren't going to damage our main plant that's going to be in there permanently. And now, most of the work is actually done. Um, now I'm just gonna be making sure that there's no pests attacking these, I'm gonna be making sure that they're well watered, and I'm gonna wait until they grow and they are ready to harvest. So it's gonna probably be a little bit more time before our next growing vegetables on a budget update. Most of the work is now done, as I said. So thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to let me know in the comments below and with that like button. Also, make sure you subscribe to Scott Grows and Avocado Tree so to not miss any future avocado or broccoli content. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time. Scott grows an avocado tree. Scott grows an avocado tree. Scott grows an avocado tree. Scott grows an avocado tree.